Hi guys, welcome back to Conan Exploits and today we pick up exactly where we left off. We were looking at the Metasploitable machine and the vulnerabilities that it comes with, what you can learn and how. Hopefully in your life, if you are into cyber security, you can be able to apply this. Either you are doing some pen testing on a network, you are checking the vulnerabilities. And for the Samba attack, this is a specific vulnerability in the machine because how the SMB file works it is that it relies on external commands in order to map the usernames and credentials or the user accounts and credentials into a shadow file. So you remember that we I shown you how to perform a nmap scan either using the terminal or using Zenmap. I have the results here using Zenmap and this is the vulnerability that we'll be using. Now another thing that it's good for you to have is the exploit db offline database to download this the offline database can be accessed using such exploit and for example if we were to look for the vulnerability in this specific version samba smbd so i'll copy that in and show you you just paste it in no results Maybe you could thin out a little, nothing, let's start there, Samba. So the three point version, you can see it's many, many versions. This will allow you to have all the exploits to the currently known vulnerabilities that have been tried by some of the best te pen testers in the world. Some of the best hackers have come up with these exploits. To download and install the exploit, kindly check the link in the description and view that other video that I've uploaded on installing the exploit. So without further ado, I'll start up the terminal. So this attack, let me zoom in a little. The Samba attack is very easy to access. There are two ways that you can go about this. You can either use Metasploit or you could otherwise go through the second means which i'll make sure i show you by the end of the video so to start this up i'll start up metasploit msf console while this starts up i could definitely minimize this now in metasploitable well metasploit we have very very many modules that you can use and sometimes to be, make sure that you are effective you, you need to do some background research on what you are doing and in this case I will be using an auxiliary module the auxiliary module is a scanner that uses the SMB SMB version so we could show options you remember the IP address for our machine on the previous video so that's all you need to set so i'll set our hosts 10.0.2.5 let me clear that this up and now i want to find the exploit for samba so i'll search samba ah, no 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 cancel that search samba i'm looking for this the user map script this is what we want so i'll copy that and i'll tell you to use the same exploit so now i can clear this up i'll show options and again all you need to set is the ip address for a target machine in this case the target machine is the metasploitable machine so i'll set our host to our IP address 10.0.2.5 <coughs> and now all you need to do is simply type in exploit and you're in you see it tells you that a command shell has been opened at the remote machine so we could type in id you see we're in the root account quickly check the host name is the metasploitable machine so what else can we do <coughs> maybe your name again this shows you the exact metasploitable machine what version of linux it's based upon 
So quickly to check if we can now access the shadow file that stores the username and voila here you have the msf admin account and the account is up to this point this is some form of encryption and as you know there are very very many forms of encryption md5 sha256 and depending on whichever method you use you'll always be able to decrypt either with hashcat or so many other tools that are online now i'll quickly close this up now in the session I'll open up two terminals to show you <coughs> sorry to show you the alternative method that you can go with. So I'll open up Netcat. I wanna listen on port 4444. And now back here, this is what I wanna do. I'll type in the metasploitable link to make sure that I use the SMB client. So SMB client, let us play table, and I want to use DMP. This simply allows me to have an anonymous login on the remote machine. So because I already know the metasploitable machine, that's what I'm using here. I do not need a root password. And you see, it tells me that anonymous login is successful. You see, it relies on SMB. This is a vulnerability that allows any attacker who knows whatever they are doing to be able to access this machine <clears throat> and it's even possible to edit out certain instructions or certain lines of code so we could quickly check what you can do help these are all the commands that we can use all these are not of use to us apart from this one now because we've already set up a listening Port, we, we have a listener here and this listener will capture any shell that is sent to our IP address on our Kali machine specifically on this port so what do we do I want to open up a netcat sorry <coughs> I want to use logon netcat now to use this you will also have to push the shell into the other machine so oh, this is what I'll do slash equals forward slash ah sorry equals forward slash and now another netcard on our Kali machine IP address is 4 we could always confirm that by opening up another terminal window and doing an IP check you see this is the IP address so now that we have that let me push this back here quickly type in the command I want to open that and put 4444 for the Kali machine and I'll tell it to push out to the bash bin sorry bash and with that I can quickly hit enter no password you see on our Kali machine it has already detected that a connection has been established to our IP address from an unknown machine but at this IP address on this port so quickly I can check we are in the root account let me zoom in for you to see We're in the root account Maybe you can check the name. You see, it's our metasploitable machine. So quickly, maybe we can try to read the shadow file to see if we can access the same information. Now, all this information might appear as gibberish, but with some research and some understanding of how the Linux kernel stores files how it accesses them you'll be able to make sense of all of this now in a future video you'll also be able to look at tomcat the apache tomcat this is another vulnerability that you could always exploit we can look at this this is what we were looking for the msf admin account again it's encrypted but with this information you could easily copy this 
into a txt file you can use a tool like hashcat or you can google tools that will allow you to chew through hashed files kindly hit the like and subscribe button if you find this information useful if you find any other tool that allows you to get through the Kali machine and into a metasploitable machine in this case metasploitable 2 machine kindly leave that in the comment section and we can talk it, talk about it in a future video thank you please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel tell your friends and maybe someone else can learn from this information